But in the meantime, we have Amel and the Sniffers. G'day. Well, How's it Declan, going? Welcome. Declan, welcome. Uh, and Bryce. Hey, we can How start you going? the interview now. Yeah, Bryce, right, wash his hands. Um, so, Timmy has been hosting today for, uh, I guess, the last six or seven hours, interviewing the bands that are here. But I thought I'd take us up a level and uh, and chat to Amel and the Sniffers. So went through the booking agent, um, <laughs> made sure that I paid the right amount of money. So thank you guys for dropping everything to come and be interviewed by me. Thank you very much for having us. It's good to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you here. And uh, what's been happening? I hear you guys are working on something. What is it? Yeah, we're trying to write an album at the moment. Um, it's in its infancy as well, I'll say. Mm. Fetal. Yeah, fetal. it's yeah. in its fetal yeah. stage. Yeah. 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 Uh, with your songs, would you say that it's music first and then the last step is what the song's going to be about, so the lyrics? Or do you sometimes already have a feeling what it's about? Uh, yeah, we kind of jam it out together and then Amy sits there scribbling while we jam and, and comes up with the, the magical lyrics that she does. Yeah. Great Always answer. very catchy. Great answer. Yeah, I've answered that one before. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be happy. Love it. And uh, you also had, so Emil and the Sniffers, people think of you as a band, but in some ways you're an office or a workplace. Uh, you guys do, you all do this full time, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you had a, a bit of a, a team building day recently. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, so last Friday, um, because our album was in its infancy and still is, we had like a, a uh, was it? culture day or something like uh, a team building yeah team building. yeah nice. building day. <laughs> so so instead of like an office doing like a casual friday we did a formal friday so yep. we all got dressed up in uh suits um amy had a nice dress nice and we went to a hotel for lunch yep then we went to the casino what did you have what did you guys eat um i had a grilled squid salad i had a palmer like, oh Okay, boring. so you're like, I'm dressed fancy, but no, I just want to yeah. eat pub. I'm, I'm still a humble <laughs> fellow, you know. <laughs> Man of the people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, and what else happened? Yeah, so then we went to the casino. Yep. Um, I won a little bit on roulette, but I lost it again. Did you win? Oh, no, I lost a fair bit, I think. Well, yeah. not a fair bit. I, mean, I didn't lose the house. Yeah. <laughs> he did, he, you can't have a house to lose one, but... Um, and then we went to the Eureka Sky Deck. We got a bottle mm. of Prosecco up there. That was nice. Very fancy. Yeah, yeah. Um, On a team building day like that, because you guys have been spending like nearly every day together for the last couple of years, touring the world, doing amazing things. Do you ever have moments where you still like, oh, that's actually something new that I've learned about Declan. Are there still new things to learn or are you kind of like, nope, I already know it. It looked like I had an answer, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> looked like you no, had I don't think so. I think I'm always just I'm always surprised at how well Declan remembers dates. Oh, you're a big date man. Yeah, I've been on a, a few dates um, <laughs> recently, um, and I remember them all. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> what a gentleman! What <laughs> Such a gentleman. <laughs> yeah, you know I remember dates. Like, you know, Valentine's Day is February 14th, and my birthday is August 29th. I'm a, I'm a Virgo. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> so Declan, how about you? Anything that you're you're in the middle of a tour, you hop off stage, and then Amy says something, you're like, oh, interesting. I didn't realise that. Um, nah, nah, I don't think so. I don't yeah. know. I have to think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left. To you're kind of at that anymore. sibling stage where you know each other extremely, extremely well. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Nothing really surprises us anymore, mm -hmm. except new things that we like. Yep. Like, yeah. very what's, what's, a new, what's a new hobby of yours? I've been going to the gym. Oh, <laughs> there you go. See? Is that true? I feel very uncomfortable saying that on live television. That's I right. Well, you, leave no a comment. No one asked you to. Uh, leave a comment about what's... I'll do five what's push ups for $5. For the thing, yeah, is that, is that what we're doing? Is that how it works? <laughs> I, re I reckon we could get them to pay in protein powder. And if, yeah, like if you've got any protein. spare protein powder, yeah. there you go. <laughs> for Bryce, okay, cool. So for a second, I'm just going to remind everybody why we're chatting. So the last chance is trying to save the tote at the moment. Some uh, greedy property developers are trying to grab the tote, smash it down, fill it with boring apartments, and what the owners of last chance. Last Chance are doing, I nearly said that Australian, Last Chance are doing, <laughs> is they uh, they want to save it because it's part of Melbourne and Australian culture. You guys have probably played there hundreds of times. So many memories, great, great environment. And Leanne and Shane have decided to take it on themselves to save the place. So there's a link underneath the video that you're watching right now. If you click on that link, it's a possible link. You can get a t-shirt, you can get, uh, you can become a lifetime member if you pay, I think it's two and a half grand. If you do a lifetime membership, you get your name tattooed on Shane's body. And I think if you pay a bit extra, it doesn't have to be body. It can be a little further up the neck, face even. He there said that go. he's open to it. 
So, yeah, uh, it's nice to have you guys here for that. Uh, how much money are you going to donate, Declan? <laughs> oh, I, I donated all on Saturday night. I was nice. here for hours. <laughs> I've already done my donation. <laughs> yep, no, I appreciate it. And what else is going on? So, album in the works. Yeah, got a tour in three weeks, starting with uh, Smashing Pumpkins and Jane's Addiction around Huge. the east coast of Australia. Yeah. Yeah. And you've have you already played with Smashing Pumpkins? No. This will be the first time that you've first time and shared first a stage. Time with all these bands. Yeah. 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 Do you have? So that must be. You must have an idea of that. Those bands watching them as a kid. Is that a strange feeling, or are you kind of used to that, going playing with these huge international acts? Kind of used to it, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't think any of us are, were there ever that big fans of Smashing Pumpkins, to be honest. We like Jane's Addiction. Yeah. Or well, we do. I like I like the I like the one song about getting caught stealing. I like that song. Yeah. What about what about names that you do get that feeling of like? Starstruckness. I, you saw, you met with Nardwa. I met with him, makes it sound like, like a business meeting. <laughs> yeah. But you, you were interviewed by Nardwa. He's yeah. a great YouTuber, very passionate about music. And uh, that interview was cool to watch because he was mentioning dumb punts. Was, has there ever been somebody like that? You're like, okay, whoa, I'm now interacting with this person. For me, I, uh, we played with Liam Gallagher last year yeah. at one of his Nedworth shows. And I didn't get to meet him then, but I got to meet him at Splendor in the Grass. Yeah. So that was cool to meet him. Yeah, I kind of went a bit like fangirly, a bit yeah. like I kind of like screamed at him. Is and he his security pushed me away? That was cool. Is he as like mellow, or like is he as cool in real life as he what he seems on TV? Uh, I don't know. I think he was all right. You know, it's hard to be cool in a you know backstage at a festival because everyone there's cool. Yeah, true. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, was, I was miles away just then. You didn't even give him a polite laugh. <laughs> but, uh, Maybe. Yeah, no, he was cool. I mean, I can't say he's not cool, you know. He, mm. he's, he's, he's cool. Yeah. And a question about Last Chance and the Tote. Like, these venues are places that have housed Melbourne musicians for years. What do those two venues mean to you? We're at Last Chance now, but you've probably got lots of memories from the Tote. What yeah. are some memories and what, are the, what do these venues mean to you guys? Um, I remember one of the... F at, here at Last Chance, what we... Um, what was that Arvo show we did? It was, uh, yeah, the two dollars show on the oh, floor yeah. here. And we just played with Foo Fighters like two days earlier, or well, the day before. We, we, yeah. yeah, so from That's one of my Foo Fighters gig to Chance. front bar at Last Chance. Yeah, almost yeah. every other time. I probably can't remember because I end up here we, it's five or six a.m. usually most <laughs> of the time, yeah. as many people do. Yeah. But yeah, that was one of my favorite memories. And like the tote, we we would go there back in the day religiously yeah. on. Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> Mo we did Mondays as well, Tuesdays. I think we did. We did a couple of those. Thank you for listing them. <laughs> Public holidays, Sundays, <laughs> yep. Christmas Day, and gigs as well. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so a lot of sentimental reasons. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. It yeah. Was very, it was our second home for a long time there, yeah. back back and when we were living together. Yeah. Yeah, when we lived together. Yeah. Did you um? How did you two meet each other? We met at uh, Grace Darling Hotel. No, say Last Chance. Oh, we met uh, at Last yeah. Chance. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to lead you there. <laughs> or the Tote. Those are the only two, only two venues we can mention in this stream. Um, and what did you think of each other when you first met? We liked each other straight away, didn't we? We did, yeah. And then, um, okay. then, then he didn't leave my house for about five days after that. I missed every day of true? uni. <laughs> I think I went to one lecture in like a week of uni. You just liked his house? Um, yeah, you know, the fridge was full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fridge was full. Yep. And then he'd be at home and I'd, he'd like have a six pack of VBs. I'm like, all right, I guess this is it. <laughs> I guess yeah. straight into it. He chose you. When you go to a uh, cat shelter, that's what happens as well. You, yep. you don't really choose. Yeah, Declan chose you. He rescued me. <laughs> that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> and geez, I used to run fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. That's awesome. Well, we've got a bunch of other great bands coming up. Declan, do you want to read off my list here? Who, we've had the Vovos, who are awesome. Who else have we got tonight? We've got Reaper, Rattleback, yep. Religious Observance, mm -hmm. Dumb Punts, and Persecution Blues. Great name. I've never seen them before. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much for that. All right, uh, let's take a break. I don't smoke, but I'm just going to pretend that I do for a moment. <laughs> and we'll come back to you shortly. Hell yeah. Awesome. Thanks, mate. All good. Thanks, Hank.